Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to uh, capture my thoughts with uh, maybe this description, quick sense of destiny. One time I was watching a film, and yeah, yeah, I mean, I watch films, you know, Julio Capoli, Bo, Park, Bo, you know, or sometimes some um, old Chinese films, uh, yeah, Uo Ho, yeah, Mr. Uo Ho, okay, Brian Kung, you know, that, you know, uh, yeah. N now, I, I I was watching a film and the, the hero and the heroine in the film, you know, they got to a place and that place was a quicksand. A quicksand is a place that when you step into it, it's 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 so miry, it's it's like a bog, and then you begin to sink into it. And if you are not rescued, you will sink and die because it's the the level of liquid and the level of the sand in it such a way that when you drop things into it, they just keep sinking, 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 and then you go down and nobody would know. In life, there are some quicksands, and they are quicksands to your destiny. And you'll be very, very, very surprised. I mean, how, what, what those quicksands are, and why I'm using quicksands of destiny. In Genesis chapter 37, when Joseph was going to his brothers, the Bible says, when the brothers saw him afar off, look at, look at the words they said, here comes the dreamer. Here comes the dreamer. So they were saying, they were referring to the dreams of Joseph. They said, here comes the dreamer. And then another said, let us take him and kill him. And then we will see what will become of his dreams. I think it was in the verse 11. Let us kill him. And then we will see what will become of his dreams. Now, Twice they mentioned dreams. Twice their focus was dreams. Now guess what? Here comes the dreamer. And then let us kill him and then we will see what will become of his dreams. Now that is a very powerful thought. You know, the dreams of Joseph were his destiny card. Or the dreams of Joseph were his purpose in life. Joseph had two dreams. The first dream was he said, we were in the fields and then my sheep stood up and then my brother's sheep uh, were bowing to my sheep. That was it. And I said, the interpretation to that dream was that sheep stands for harvest and that everybody was going to have a harvest, but the harvest of Joseph was going to stand up tall and the harvest of Joseph uh, will serve the harvest of his brothers. Why? Because in the kingdom, the greatest is the servant. So the fact that his brother's sheep were bowing to him, yes, in natural, they bow to him, but his purpose was going to serve his that of his brothers. That was the first one. The second dream that he had, he said, I saw the sun, moon, and stars bowing before me. And that was when, you know, his brothers said, look at him too. And then his father said, I mean, we, will I and your mother, you know, bow to, to you, the sun, moon, and stars bowing to you, and you know, those, the interpretation of his father was very wrong. That, the first dream was purpose, but the second dream was placement. That is the geography for the fulfillment of the dreams. And God was talking about Egypt. God said, these things I'm about to do will not happen in your father's house. It will happen in Egypt. Why? Because the Egyptians were, uh, uh, worshipped the sun god as the highest god and the moon goddess as the, their counterpart. of the, And the Egyptians built their their, their pyramids according to the constellation of the stars. In fact, they were stargazers. They were astrologers. So God was talking about Egypt and God was not talking about any other place. And these dreams that Joseph had was his purpose. These dreams was his destiny. These dreams was where, that is what God wanted to do. So when the brother said, here comes the dreamer, and then they said, let us kill him and then we will see what was going to become of his dreams. Do you know what they were saying? In actual fact, the reason for Joseph's warfare, 
the reason for the jealousy, the reason for the envy, the reason for the hatred that Joseph was facing was because of his dreams. So that magnet that was drawing this, the, um, that was drawing anger, that magnet that was drawing a fiery um, uh, response, a, a very dangerous response, a murderous intent, that magnet was his dreams. So the warfare Joseph was facing was because of God's purpose upon his life. It was because of the dreams. It was because of his dreams. Because look at what they said. When we kill him, then we will see what will become of his dreams. We will see whether there will be a realization of his dreams. So the reason for the hatred and they hating him the more was because of the dreams. It is because of what you carry. It's because of God's purpose on your life sometimes. That's why there's all this warfare. It is because of what God wants to do with you. That's why sometimes you draw a flag. It is because as a baby you're going to become the king. And that is why the heralds are threatened. It is because as a Moses you're going to deliver Israel from the hands of the Egyptians. That is why there's legislature for all baby boys to be killed. It is because of the purpose of God you carry. Sometimes that's the reason for the warfare. So sometimes you ain't done nothing wrong but because of what you carry. So you know what? God has a way of protecting his investments. And God has a way of protecting his purposes. The Bible says that which is born of God overcomes. That means that which is born of God must fight through something. Must, must battle to come above. To be victorious. And look at what it says. It says, you are more than conquerors. Mm. You are more than conquerors. You get it? You, he would uphold you with his victorious right hand. That means, oh boy, you've been through a battle. So sometimes the dreams you carry, or sometimes the purposes of God you carry, is commensurate with the warfare that you're getting. And some of the challenges you're going through, and some of the things that you've seen, the issues that you face right now, is as a result of the dreams you carry. So you know what? Take comfort that God has a way to protect the dream, just like God protected Joseph's dreams. So you know what? Sometimes be mindful that there are quicksands of destiny, and those quicksands seek to drown as we see it, your dreams. But nevertheless, the foundations of God stand as you. Be comforted. But God has a way of protecting those dreams. See you later.